Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all stay, staying safe and well. Now, a few bit videos back, I showed some envelopes that I had altered for Christmas. These ones here. And Michelle Jackson asked me how I did it. You can see this one. These were actually old business envelopes that I chopped up and I covered with paper and put Merry Christmas die cut here. And then this one here has a same thing, an envelope cut down and it has a bit of, you know, Christmas design just put in here at the back. So I'll show you how I do it and you can have great fun with these. Now what I usually use is um, old envelopes that I recycle, but I'm using brand new envelopes so that you can actually see what I do. Now the first thing I do is I open up the side or the sides of them. Now with these long ones, these are the most trickiest to do and that's why I'm showing these first of all. I would cut down one side. I'll show you how I do that in a minute. But to open them up, what I do is I get an iron. I actually iron them until the glue is melted. You could also try doing this with a heat gun. But if it doesn't work, you can just slit them open or cut them open. Just like this one here. You can see I've cut it down to make it a bit smaller. I've cut it down on the, the side that has them the furthest away that is most area beyond the window because we're going to work on the window and decorate it. I think that was what Michelle was asking about and what she wanted me to do. And I just cut off the bit here and folded it in just to make a slightly smaller sized business envelope. And this is all you would see from the outside. Now, the next thing I do is I get some paper. Now, if you're using a um, 12 by 12 paper, you might, you might be able to use the whole of your envelope but, and not cut anything off it. But if you use an A4 like this, you will have to cut your envelope down a bit to give you some wriggle room. All will be clear in a minute. But what I do is, well you see I have this folded, but I put the envelope down like this. And just to make sure I have a bit of space around the sides for a bit of wriggle room and just pre pretend that fold is this fold here isn't there and I just fold it back over the envelope to make sure I've got it you know enclosed I've got the right size now I have a bit of an overlap here you can see where the, the flap the back of the envelope is here so I'm going to cut off a bit and we might use it later Sorry about the disappearance, but here we go. And that's our envelope prepared to be covered and decorated. Now, I'm using a very dull looking paper so that it'll show up against the white of the envelope, but you can choose any, any A4 sized sheet of paper that you like. So you can see there, I've it folded and it's up against the envelope. Now, the next thing I do is I get like for this, you'll need a die cutting machine, an A5 die cutting machine and some rectangle, long rectangle dies. And what I do with the dies is I put a little bit of washi tape across the top of them. And then this is to make the window in the things, in the paper. So I slide the die cutting side down under the window of the existing envelope. I straighten it out. I press down the and now I have got it into position. Then I fold this over, hold the die in place, get the die cutting machine and run it through the die cutting machine. Now I've actually left my plates. They fell on the floor, just a minute. Back again with my die cutting machine at the ready now. I've managed to find the plates. 
Now here's the die kind of held in place with washi tape. It's not 100% straight, so I'm going to reposition it again, fold it over and run it through the die cutting machine and hopefully fingers crossed it'll cut the little window where I wanted to cut the window. tear there it doesn't matter because it'll be covered it'll be covered up and neither does this here because it'll all be covered up and that paper is fairly um, vintage and shabby looking anyway it's meant to look that way so I'll get the die the die cutter out of the way and then as you see this is the, the little bit you've cut away now you get your envelope match the two up and you can see you can see that you have more or less cut an aperture to fit over the window. I didn't do that a hundred percent. Wait a minute, I'll move it down again. You could move the the fold or re redo it. But when I make a mistake like that, what I usually do is just decorate around the edge and cover cover it up. It is quite a tricky tricky thing to do. I haven't you haven't heard me cursing, but I I was silently cursing while I was doing it. But all you have to do then basically is cover the envelope and the bit you cut off, or the bit I cut off first of all, this bit here can be kind of popped in here and used to cover up the, the brown bit or the blue bit of the envelope. Or you could use any scrap of paper. And then I'll show you a few of my envelopes and I'll show you how I managed to, um, what I managed to do when things go wrong. And you notice with this one, because it's not, um, it's a new envelope, it still has its line of double-sided tape here. So it can be used, you know, it can be used again you don't have to put fresh tape on it, but I'll show you some more here. Now here's another envelope, the same style, and you can see how I've cut out another bit and put it around it. You could decorate it with lace or washi tape, and then the inside to hide the, the blue, which is it. You see, I'm making the envelopes look kind of vintage and that bright blue is not vintage. So I just put a strip of paper inside. Now this envelope could be decorated further. It can be stamped and die cuts or flowers or anything added to it. And here's another one. And you can see how, i show the back. I've used the same material. And then behind here on the back flap, I've put more paper so that you can you don't see the horrible blue or the very bright blue and if you put if you're using it to put um give somebody a gift of die cuts or little buttons or something you they'll be able to see them through the window and they can it's almost turned into the envelope can be turned into a shaker and there's another one kind of hiding the Maybe the cut edge went wrong. And the same thing here, there's a strip of green paper at the back and there's, you can see what's in the envelope. You could actually put an address there and send it to somebody. And there again, on this one here I showed you before, but you can see I've put the strip of paper in at the back. I hope this is making sense. Now, Now sometimes I cut down the C5 envelopes, the bigger business envelopes, and I decorate them like this. And you can see. And the lighter the paper you use to decorate them, the better. Otherwise they can become a bit heavy and unwieldy. But you can see there I've run out of paper, so I used another pattern on the top. 
if you want the person to know that you're re this is a recycled envelope and if you want the person you know who you're sending the envelope to to know you recycled it you can leave the name of the company here or not cover it completely or if it's going in, in a, into a junk journal it's nice to have some bit of um, connection with the thing's original use now i have wait i must show you something here again Now one thing here is if you have a paper with pattern on it, just to make sure that it, it, it runs in the right direction. I did have one with a mistake, but of course I can't find it now. Now here's a smaller envelope, the C6 size. The same thing, I've covered it. You cut out the out cut out the hole in it and when you're cutting out the the hole in the paper to show off the envelope you will need the die you you use will have to be smaller than the the original window and the the ones i'm using they're almost the exact width that's why things go wrong but you can see there i put a bit of the same paper in at the back so the butterfly design can be seen Now this one is, is the one that went wrong. You can see all the boards are upside down. It would have been a lovely envelope if I got it right, but I didn't. So that's one thing to watch out for. I show you my mistakes. Now, all these paper that, papers that I'm using were freebies from the middle of a magazine, a paper crafting magazine. So you can see I've covered this one, the same thing again, but this time it had no little window in it. So I cut out a window with the heart and I put vellum. I glued vellum down with a, a tape roller. And that's it. And you can still see that it's a reused envelope. Added a bit of a flower here to the front of it. I think that's enough decoration because the pattern is very busy. And here's an envelope. This envelope I was a digi print or as a print out or a digital download or whatever you call them you can see it here and I put a window in it with a flower die and then I put this kind of I think she was meant to be a um, bohemian lady or something a bit spooky so I put her here at the back at a kind of an angle to make her a bit more frightening looking now I I, knew th I think this was probably a free download from face from one of the designers on Facebook, like Artie Mays or one of these those people. But I don't know. I can't find it anywhere. And my husband has the laptop with my digis on it. So I don't know. If anybody recognises it, will you tell me in the comments? But it's in German. Old. You can see the old, the old style German writing. So you can have great fun like making your own apertures because what I did first of all was I cut it first of all I cut out I used the, the flower dye and I cut out the flower shape and then I got a bit of plastic from a CD envelope and put it at the back you can't really see it you can there you can see it there and then I put the the design the lady's face over it I, I could have put her at the back here but I said no I'll stick her onto it so you can see that's perfectly smooth. Another thing I could have done was cut, cut uh, your window again. And instead of using, you know, vellum or anything like that, just put a bit of lace at the back of it. That would give, um, let me see what it would look like. open envelopes here glued a bit of lace to the back that would also or fabric that would also give another kind of very delicate effect so there you go Michelle I hope that's given you a few a few ideas I know you have um a die cutting machine and that you're an experienced paper crafter 
But for somebody who wasn't and wanted to do something, or somebody who hadn't got a die cutting machine, really the best thing to do would be put your paper down and just try and mark mark where you cut on the, you know, just kind of with a pointy tool or something. Mark where you cut and cut out the smaller window in your paper with the craft knife or something. But I thought once you get the hang of using the die cutting machine to cut the windows and once you're not doing it on a, you, you're not filming yourself doing it, things will work out. So thanks for watching, thanks for listening. And as I said, I hope this helped you, Michelle. Mind yourself. Bye.